Hello students, I am Johnson. I welcome to online class handling Sun Standard Biology Chapter 1 Organization Living Things. In this session, you will learn about the learning objectives are tissues, permanent tissue, simple permanent tissue, and complex permanent tissue. Now, what is mean by tissue? Yes, a group of similar in structure that work together to perform a particular function forms a tissue. Yes, already we discussed. So, group of similar cells and to join together one by one another cell join together to perform a particular function that is called a tissue. Yeah, permanent tissue. Permanent tissue. Now, permanent tissues. What happens to the cells formed by mesthematic tissue? What happens after mesthematic tissue? This tissue to become a permanent tissue. Yes. Cells derived from division of mesthematic tissue take up specific role and lose the ability to divide. Yes. So, what happened in the measurement shoe? It is stopped and lost the character of to divide. That forms a permanent tissue. Yes, it forms a type of permanent tissue. The developmental process by which cells derived from mesthematic tissue take up a permanent, that means shape, size, and function, is called differentiation. In this, in this way, cells of mesthematic tissue differentiate to form cells of permanent tissues what is called permanent tissues yes once the mesthematic tissue lost the character of to ability of division of cell the permanent tissue form that time the shape and size are different that is called that differentiation yes now the permanent tissues classify into two main category. The first one simple permanent and second one complex permanent. Again, the first one simple permanent classify into three subgroups. There are parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma. The second of the permanent tissue is a complex permanent tissue. Again, the further two subgroups that is called xylem and phloem yes we can divide into two main groups simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue and further both are divided into subgroups the first one simple permanent tissue these tissues are composed of cells which are structurally and functionally similar yes how it is the these cell composed of only one type of it is made up of only one kind of cells that is called it simple permanent tissue thus these tissues are all made of one type of cells for example parenchyma colenchyma sclerenchyma the simple parenchyma it only one arrangement of only one kind of tissues and also colenchyma and sclerenchyma also the parenchyma parenchyma para beside in chyma in filling so surrounded by the plant body yes parenchyma forms the bulk of the plant body these cells are oval round polygonal or elongated in shape so these cells are surrounded by the plant body and also it look like a shape of oval round polygonal or elongated in shape the cell wall is thin and encloses a dense cytoplasm which contains a small nucleus and surrounds a large central vacuum yes how it is cell wall it is a very very thin and also inside the cell wall 
it is dense of cytoplasm which contain a small nucleus and occupied the more number of space it is a large central vacuum look at this picture you can understand easily parent came out serves as a packing tissue so look like a packing tissue composed of it composed of tightly arranged and packing tissue to fill the spaces between other tissues and maintain the shape and firmness of the plant due to its target cells yes because of these tissues are tightly compactly arranged any without any absence of space and also it maintain a shape and use the target cells of the plant charge in the parenchyma of cortex of potato tuber yes the next one colon chyma it is also only one type of cell it's surrounded by the plant body colon chyma is a mechanical tissue in young dicotyledon stems and provides mechanical support and elasticity yes these kind of cells it give the strength to the plant body especially in dicot stems when the heavy wind storm and heavy rain that time it is give the support to the plant body yes thus colon chyma provide tensile strength with flexibility to those organs in which it is allows easy bending in various parts of a plant leaf stem without actually breaking it yes i already said what happened heavy wind and rain of the some of the season what happened in the storm the heavy wind it is come to near the plant body that time this kind of cell to support and give the mechanical strength to the plant body but actually it is not any break any without any breaking where we can see on the plant body leaves and stem when cells of colon chyma contain some chloroplast they manufacture sugar and starch so here chloroplast also present here so then only the plant this kind of colon chyma cells manufacture the manufacture their sugar and starch third one sclerenchyma it is an how the shape of the cell it is an hard material and also what we said dead cells yes the sclerenchyma cells are dead cells and they are devoid of protoplasm here nothing and also lack of any internal organs of this kind of cells yes devoid of protoplasm the cell walls of sclerenchyma are greatly thickened of lignin yes the cell wall highly composed of and also dense of lignified and thickened walls of cell wall because of the reason the chemical deposited that is called the lignin so such cell walls are called lignified such cells are called lignified due to excessive thickening of sclerenchyma chyma cell wall its cell cavity or lumen becomes nearly absent yes the pit on the lumen you can see this picture what happened it is shows an absent look like because of the dense of thickening of cell wall the cells of sclerenchyma chyma are closely packed without intercellular any space without intercellular space yes because of the cell walls highly dense of lignified cell walls so we can't see any intercellular spaces they are found in stems or on the vascular bundle roots veins of leaves hard coverings of seeds and nuts where we can find in this kind of thin chyma especially in stem that is a surrounded by the vas around the vascular bundles and roots winds or leaf hot covering of their seeds and also nut what is the main function yes the screen camera is mainly mechanical and protective in function 
it gives strength, rigidity, flexibility, and elasticity to the plants, thus enable it stand various strains. The next one, complex permanent tissue. Complex permanent tissue. So complex means here more than one type of cell arranged in a manner. Arranged in a manner present in the plant body. That is called a complex permanent tissue. Yes. The complex tissues consist of more than one type of cells having a common origin. All these cells coordinate to perform a common function. Yes, these kind of cells again coordinate and perform a common function. Complex tissues transport water, minerals, salts and nutrients and also food material to various parts of plant body. So here also, what is that main function? Transport water, mineral salts, and food material to the various parts of the plant body. Xylem and phloem are both conducting tissues. So these both cells and tissues are conducting. So that's also known as vascular tissues. And finally, together they constitute vascular bundles. So both are arranged, xylem and phloem, arranged in a proper manner. We said that vascular bundle. So these xylem and phloem, again further, the four element present in xylem and also four element present in phloem. The xylem, it contains four elements. that are tracheids, vessels, xylem fibers, xylem parenchyma. And phloem also contains four elements, sieve elements, companion cells, phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers. Now the structure of xylem. Again, we are classified into four elements present in xylem. The first one, tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma, xylem sclerenchyma. Yes. Now you see the picture the tracheid and vessel xylem parenchyma and xylem sclerenchyma. Here xylem parenchyma only having a nucleus, rest of the three is then without any nucleus. So the xylem parenchyma it is we said a living cell in xylem. Rest of the three is then non-living because of the function, what is the reason? The cell wall highly composed of thickened and lignified. Yes, so tracheid vessel, xylem, parenchyma, and xylem fiber. Xylem. Xylem is a vascular and mechanical tissue. In other words, it is a conducting tissue. Xylem is composed of called elements of four different types namely tracheids the first one tracheids and second one vessels yes the first one tracheids these are elongated cells with tapering ends now see that the first one of picture of tracheids the ends are tapering in manner they also conduct water inside the flow since tracheids do not have open ends like the vessel yes now see the vessels you are having an open inside that but we cannot see that we can't see inside the tracheids any kind of openings yes so the water has to pass from one cell to another cell via via with the pit the pit means the minute openings from the one tracheids to another tracheids that is from that is from cell to another cell yes so what happened nothing here opening so the water has passed too easily to one cell to another cell yes the second one vessels these are long these are very long tube like structures formed by a row of cells placed end to end yes because of this vessel it look like a long tube look like a long tube 
so what happened it's a long row so the by this time cells place end to end the transverse walls between the vessel elements are partially and completely dissolved to form continuous channels or water pipe here yes here look like a water pipe continuously goes on water to root to the upper part of the stems and leaves and other node yes it is used highly used for stand the water from the root to the upward region and third one xylem parenchyma these store food and helps in lateral conduction of water yes because of this it is called the living cell so what happened the special character of xylem parenchyma the store and helps to lateral conduction of water yes and fourth one xylem sclerenchyma or fiber except xylem parenchyma all elements are dead and bounded by thick lignified walls yes so the main function of xylem is to carry water and mineral salts upward from the root to different parts of shoot yes here the roots absorb the water and minerals with the help of root has the xylem to conduct and also transport the water to the upper direction due to the shoot region again not cannot come to a down it's only the upward region from the root to the stem that is the main function of the xylem the next one, the next one structure of phloem again it contains four elements that is sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma phloem fibers phloem phloem means bark contains tube but performs no mechanical function here yes it it also contain tube like manner the phloem is composed of following four elements or cells the first one sieve tubes second one companion cells the first one sieve tubes these are slender tube like structures composed of elongated thin walled cells placed end to end they tra they transport food prepared in leaves to other parts of the plant yes the sieve tube look like a tube in slender in manner very like a stick like manner and also walls are thin walls placed end to end and also what is the main function that is mean transport food prepared in leaves to other parts of the plant yes maybe the water and sunlight and presence of chlorophyll and carbon dioxide the leaves manufacture their food that time what happened this sieve tube transport the food prepared in the leaves to the other parts of the plant yes the second one companion cells these are generally associated with sieve tube is a small thin wall containing dense and very active cytoplasm and large elongated nucleus it is a mingle with or along with the sieve tube it is also contain very active cytoplasm and large elongated nucleus present in the companion cells third one phloem parenchyma these are thin wall how it look like a thin wall they have two functions storage and slow lateral conduction of water here the phloem parenchyma is a thin wall and also living material in the phloem it contain two main function storage and slow lateral conduction of food 
slow lateral conduction of it. The plant body hanging the phloem is a arranged of food material and also conduct the food material in a side manner. The fourth one, phloem fibers. These are thick walled, the cell wall also thick and elongated spindle shaped dead cell. How look it look like an this this kind of cell it is an phloem fiber dead cell. So it is an elongated spindle like manner cells which possesses narrow lumen. So narrow lumen here the cell wall thickened the lumens are very less in space and also may be in absence. They provide mechanical strength to the tissue. They it is also give the support to the when they transport the food conduction of food that then give the mechanical strength to the tissue except for phloem fibers phloem cells or living cells the phloem fibers only dead cell rest of the other three is in living cells phloem transport conducts photosynthetically prepared food materials from the least to the storage organ Yes, once they prepare the food by green leaves, that food also stored in the storage organs and later from storage organs to growing regions of the plant body. The ones the plant bodies of the storage organs store the food, whenever need the plant body, any other new cells need or new region of the plant body need, that time the phloem or give the transport the and conduct the food that is the main function of phloem yes let's do it on activity yes how the transport and also conduct the food from xylem and phloem so mainly we take this experiment for xylem tissues how the water through xylem tissues yes how the transport to aim to study the transportation of water through xylem tissues what are the materials yes a soft flowering twig with roots intact with white flowers of petunia balsam vinca and pink ink beaker water and microscope yes what is the procedure? Pour some water in the beaker and a few drops of pink ink to the water. Put the twig in the beaker and leave it undisturbed for an hour. Yes, we take the first, we take the beaker and pour the some water, some level and add a few drops of pink ink and we put the leaf tig and put the leaf tig and disturb for an hour. Cut thin slices of stem. Keep the sliced stem on the glass slide. Yes, we take the portion of the stem, cut it and also place on the glass slide. Now put a few drops of water on the slide and observe the stem under your microscope yes now we are adding a few drops on the slide on the stem portion of that on the slide and also and we are going to see the microscope what happened here yes observations the xylem tissue of the vascular bundles gets stained pink yes what happened the vascular bundles are stained pink you will also notice that flowers will become colored after a few hours. Yes, the flowers also change in the color after a few hours. So what happened? The root observed that this kind of pink solution that water goes on upward direction. Xylem can transport water to the aerial parts of the plant body. So the flowers change the color in conduction of water main function of xylem it conduction of water yes 
Now understand this video, you will easily learn about the how to transport the water and minerals with the help of xylem and phloem and also transportation. Yes. Now see this video, you clearly observe and you can learn easily. The water goes in the xylem elements with the presence of a root has. The root has sent to the xylem. The xylem it contains four elements. That four elements pass through the water in upward direction. Yes. Now listen the video continuously. Yeah, here the presence of sunlight and uh, water carbon dioxide in the with the help of the green leaves presence of chlorophyll. What happened here? The plants prepare their own food and release of oxygen. Release of oxygen. Yes, this is a called that photosynthesis. Here, phloem it conducts the food material in downward and upward region, but only the xylem it takes the water from root to the upward direction.
In this session, we learnt about the permanent tissues. Next class, we discuss a new topic in the next session. Thank you.